Here, Angie's where to go. I know, she was up before you. Oh, here, your mum wants to book in that hotel already, so she can go off to see her solicitor. Yeah, I know, she's been moaning about it all night. Mark's dress just as bad. I've got my interview this afternoon at the YTS office. Oh, big day all round, innit, eh? Uh, hey? Yeah, put this in the van for you. Come on. Cheers, mate. Kath, I just want to say thanks for having us and everything. Oh, that's all right. I was glad to have you. And thanks for letting me have your bed, Ian. That's OK. <laughs> You'll keep in touch, won't you? Of course we will. Look, Sharon, I know how upset your mum is. Just make sure she realises I'm always here to help. I think she knows that, Kath. Trouble is, she still seems knocked out by it all. That's why she can't work out what to do. Well, let's just hope it seems clearer, eh, once she's spoken to the solicitor. I've hardly been out since we were married. Yeah, me and all. If we can get a babysitter. Well, if you can't, bring Annie along. I thought we could put the kids down in my dad's workshop. I'm sure they can sleep in there. Oh, great. How will your mum feel about that, though? Well, it's my party and I'm making all the rules. <laughs> Listen, Sharon, are you bringing someone or not? You might already have asked, Mr Wright. Well, Ian's coming, if that's what you mean. No, that is not what I mean. Well, he fancies this girl at college now, anyway. I don't think he's got nowhere with her, but, you know, he's got eye hopes. <laughs> Still, I don't think that'll stop him chasing you, will it? Don't worry, Kelvin. I can handle Ian. I'm sure you can. Listen, I've got to go now and invite some more people. Ta -ra. Ta -ra. See ya. See ya. It's great. We've been to a party for ages. I suppose you could do a bit of cheering up right now. Michelle, I've told you I'm fine. It's nice you to keep worrying, though. How's your mum? Well, she went to see Solicitor this morning. So it's all starting to look pretty final now. Oh, I'm sorry about it all. Yeah, well, it's no use crying over spilt milk, is it? Anyway, got enough problems on my own this afternoon. Why? What's up? Got to go and see about getting another YTS. They don't like you chopping and changing, so I'll probably be in for another lecture. <laughs> Still, I know I'm doing the right thing. Just got to try and convince them, I suppose. Mm, well, best of luck with it, eh? <laughs> Thanks, I'm going to need it. Listen, I've got some time off college later on. I've got to go to the hospital with my dad. He's going to see a specialist, but maybe we can meet up later on and talk about it. OK, we'll see you later then. Great. See you, Mary. Take care, You've got to look at the realities of the situation. Your exam results weren't bad, but there's lots of kids in the same position as you, some with even better qualifications, and you're all chasing too few jobs. That's why you need work experience. That's the point of the scheme. It's something concrete you can offer an employer in the future. It proves you can knuckle down and get on with a job. I'm bound to be a bit suspicious of people who can't stick at things. But I can! You haven't shown much evidence of it so far. But I don't think it's too late. Like I said, they were pleased with you. I think I can pick up the phone and get you back there tomorrow. After all, they know you had a difficult time, what with the divorce and the attack and everything. Look, I want to start again, somewhere new. Look, I know I had the wrong attitude to start with. I just wanted to leave school and do something, anything. I've thought about it a lot since then. I'm glad to hear it. I won't be able to rely on my parents forever. That's one thing the divorce has brought home to me. So if I make a mistake now, I might have to live with it for the rest of my life. True. I want a job, but I need a career. Something I can work at. I want to be able to make something of myself. That's easier said than done. Then I'll just have to work harder at it. Look, I want you to go for as many jobs as you can get me. Find out about them and see what the prospects are. Supposing that means you need more qualifications, you've got to go to evening classes, that sort of thing. Then I'll do it. Look, I'm taking this seriously, Miss Kerbishley. And I'd like you to do the same for me. OK, Sharon. Let's see what we can do. So how's it going with the YTS? Well, it was a bit sticky at first, but I think I won her over in the end. She's setting up a whole load of interviews for me. Right, well, fingers crossed, eh? I'm really determined to get it right this time. Anyway, so how's the home industry going, then? Well, as you can see, I'm a bit behind. At least give me something to think about tonight. Well, Cass asked me to work the store sometimes, you know, between interviews. I mean, she'll get more time on the machines, and I'll be earning when I sort something else out. Right, Dad? It's me. Oh, hello, Sharon. Hey. Still no sign of him, then? He's disappeared. Look, I'll be back to the hotel. See how Mum got on at the solicitors. Right. See you later. Take care of yourself. Bye.